It's the type of crime and video that gets the NYPD commissioner angry. The brutality of a 68-year-old Queens woman tossed from the top steps of her church just to be robbed. The woman now in stable condition and this video going viral. Another example of violent incidents in New York City at a time when the NYPD says overall crime is trending down. Yes, we are heading in the right direction for crime. But to someone's reality, someone who's been a victim of a crime, it tells a different story. And that's something that we're struggling with right now, perception versus reality. New York's top cop, Commissioner Edward Caban, is less than a year into the job, taking charge as the city faced a crime wave, migrants overwhelming shelters, and a transit system where riders didn't feel safe. I think a lot of the country was stunned when the governor sent a thousand National Guard troops into your subway system. What was that moment like? Well, you know, when you talk to people riding our subway systems, they just want to feel safe. And we want to thank the governor for bringing resources into New York City Police Department. We'll take that. Do you think it was necessary? We'll take the help any day of the week. The latest data shows crimes like shootings, murders, and burglaries all down in the first quarter, but rapes and felony assaults on the rise. Caban says bail reform laws have made every officer's job tougher. Whatever you want to call it, catch and release. We lock someone up, district attorney puts bail on them. The judges let them go to walk our streets again. It's a broken system. We're seeing that we're locking up the same people over and over again. And it has an effect on our law enforcement officers. It has an effect on our law abiding citizens. And it has a negative effect on the actual or perceived image of public safety. And one that has grown more complicated with the recent arrival of nearly 200,000 migrants. When there was that high profile crime in Times Square when the officer was beat by the, the migrants, you called them ghost criminals. What did you mean by that? Right now, most of them had no IDs. There's no way we could tell where they live, where they come from. They're pretty much ghost criminals. I got to think that makes your job tougher to try to combat crime and you're trying to look for people you don't even know what their names are. Yeah, absolutely it does. Though Caban says migrants aren't coming to New York City to commit crimes, when they do, it's one more setback from his goal, making sure New York not only is, but feels safe. Tom Yamas, NBC News, New York. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.